<laughs> oh, 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 it's big. Nah, I'm one with the animals. <laughs> All right, so after the moths are attacking, we're at Golf, <laughs> we're at Golf Central, and uh, we have some more Wilson staff gear. This is the, the new D300. So this is game improving to the max. Isn't it? What? Holy now, hell. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid unit. Mm. It's a big boy. It's dense. Um, very, very low CG. Mm -hmm. As you can see around the um, around the outer perimeter of the sole area. That's a big word, mate. Yeah, perimeter. Ooh, look at you guys. Yeah, um, it is more and more weight, so you've got more perimeter weighting. Right. Which, of course, increases ball speeds across the face, which is what everybody wants to do. It's also got a flex face. So you know how a company had slots on the bottom? Were they slots or were they called... Anyway. They Were they called speed slots? <gasps> Fast slots. Exactly right. Well, Wilson have got, uh, same as in their C200, I think, or, or C, uh, anyway. Check out another one. It'll be linked somewhere. Yeah. But um, this is a new version, the bigger version, the biggest of the biggest version yeah. of this. So it's got um, flex face te technology. Mm. So it's got slots on the bottom, slots on the toe, yeah. slots on the top line. Yes. The only place it doesn't have slots is in the heel. Well, you shouldn't be hitting it out of there, so... No. <laughs> but, so basically the slots are <clears throat> designed to compress, give you more ball speed across the face, um, and it works. Okay. I haven't hit this yet, so I'm actually interested to see what it's actually going to do with my swing speeds and blah, blah, blah. So, Cor correct. Yeah. It, we do have this in a stiff shaft, so, um, look, it's I'm sure it's going to work just as well as any other golf club. Um, I am not a big fan of how it looks. No. This is probably the only club in the Wilson range that I don't really like the look of, and it's got nothing to do with the big thick top line or anything like that. Maybe the colours, I don't know, it just doesn't look as, I suppose, classy maybe. I think that's, I think, I would assume is they're trying to make that distinction. So we did yep. the, the V5. Uh, uh, yeah, the FG2 yeah, V5. Yeah, and it's, and it's considered the crossover into the game improvement. So obviously, I think, yeah, they want the, the, the players' clubs to look, you know, a bit schmicko like a and a bit, bit regal and a bit royal and stuff. Whereas it's these... True. The, the, the blade and the V6 look tidy, clean. Yep. And then obviously... F F5 gets a little bit of stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. So, and these, yeah, obviously very dis distinguishable. It's mm. a lot of syllables. So, yeah, looking down on it, a bit of offset, uh, chrome head, a bit of satin. I mean, it's not a bad looking club, but yeah. I mean... For a game improvement club, they're going to have a lot of chunk, and you got to do something like you can't just have flat nothing on there. Nothing on there. And so. The biggest thing is with the bigger head, you can put more technology into it. That's right. So you can put more weight lower, deeper cavities. You can put more slots and whatever it takes, cut yep. faces and all that stuff. Yeah. So keep the ball speeds up across the face. Yep. So you don't like the look of it? I don't mind I'm it. Not a massive fan of the look. But I'm a bit. I don't really, like, as you'll see, like, there's, with the, what are they called again? The uh, flex face. Oh, I'm a good listener. Yes. The flex face with all the slots in the top. I don't like that, but for someone who's looking for that bit of extra help, it's sort of like a big-headed driver, isn't it? You look at that and you go, that's a flex, I've forgotten already. Flex face. Flex face. <laughs> that's a flex face. You know what's going to work. You know, yeah. you know, subconsciously you're feeling, yeah, it's, it's going to do something for me. So, <laughs> yeah, let's go hit it. Let's have a bit of a hit. It's a big head, game improving head. It might suit you, comment down below. But comment down below on what you use, what you might want to use, if you've hit it, if you've seen it. Yep. What do you think? Definitely. Oh, lofts. Lofts, strong. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that seven iron is nearly like my six iron, so it's like 30 odd degrees. They so like most game improving. Yeah, They're game improving stuff are, are quite strong. There we go. Let's go over here. It is. It's a rather large head. It is so, rather large. Um, but again, it's confidence inspiring, isn't it? I feel like it can go a long way. Now, 7 iron is 29 and a half degrees. So it's close, it's nearly 30, it's nearly my 6 iron. So I feel like I can hit this past my 6 iron now. Yeah. So I'm going to try to have one swing and hit it a long way. Because it feels like it wants to go a long way. Got one, don't balls it up. Nothing? Hit pretty good. Bear with. Hit pretty good. So that, that was hit pretty good. How far did that go? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to tell you because your head will just go. It's, it's already bigger than the 178 screen. carry. 178 and ball speed. Meters. Um, yeah, I should have looked at that. And spin. Uh, 132 ball speed. 132. And uh, five and a half 
grand spin. Okay, so my six irons at about five eight, five nine okay. spin. So I'm calling this my six iron in regards to loft. Yep. Which it's half a degree stronger. Yep. Um, I don't get one three two ball speed out of my six iron. <laughs> now these are the same loft as my six iron. This is a seven iron. This goes as far as my five iron. Nearly. Not quite, but nearly. I mean, I've got to hit a hard six iron to hit it as far as this. Yeah. So, even though they're the same loft, this has got a lot more ball speed, potentially, because of the, the uh, power holes. Power, yeah, there's a bit of a caveat there. Yeah, power so holes. Power holes and... Power holes and weight pods. And... Um, I like weight pods, that's cool. Flex face. Power pod, yeah, power pod, it reminds me of, like, um, Firefly. Sci-Fi, sorry. Power Rangers. Golf. Um, back to golf, but yes, so the D in the D300 is distance. Yeah. The C in the C, well, especially in the C200 is crossover along with the F5, and then F is the FG Tour stuff, which is for feel. So that's how Wilson do their stuff, and I think they're doing a bloody good job. That thing's going as far as my six iron and further, and that was very easy. Yeah, solid club, solid club. Um, yes, I don't like the look of it because it's a bit big. I probably wouldn't use it. Maybe I could use that in a three iron or a four iron. Yep. It'd go as long as a two iron though. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's we push something else out of the bag. But yeah. um, in regards to a game improving golf club, can't fold it. Yes, like any other game improving golf club out there, all the forgiveness in the world. Low CG, perimeter weighting. Um, I mean, they can, they can call all their bits and bobs on there, Fancy whatever stuff. they want. They're all doing the same thing, so. Correct. And all your game improving stuff is about uh, as fast off the face as it can be, launch as high as it can be, carry as far as it can be, hopefully spinning enough to land what it should be. You don't want to compromise land angle and stop no, definitely not. for distance. So that's why you need to get fit, guys. Maybe you can muck around with a few different shafts, a um, few different lie angles, and get the right fit for you. Lie angles. Lie angles. Guys, guys, check out our other equipment reviews of uh, the Wilson stuff and other gear. Yep. Also subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our Softies channel. Um, Please. Vlogging. Please more vlogging. Uh, but guys, yeah, the Wilson staff gear is very, very good. D300. Big dog. Big dog. Long dog. Comment down below what you think, guys. We'll see you next time.